What are the limits of market production in our society? I mean, I think actually the people that are most vulnerable to brainwash is mostly, you know, retired people, people that have dropped off of the labor force in their middle age. Those are the most like, xenophobic and, rea you know, reactionary people. And they are the only ones, the last ones, that really watch broadcasting TV, broadcast TV, you know. All the other people have a fragmented attention among a variety of media, of media from iPod to DVD or not. Moral justifications for capitalism now are essential. And so I think progressives and radical, radicals for the first time in 20 years, they have a window of opportunity. I mean, there is an irresistible trend by now towards social forms of production in information, culture, and knowledge. And that's a fact. I mean, the battle has been won to a degree. But I think now the vital element that we have to do is that we have to do a syndicate of knowledge and service workers in order to press our demands on the knowledge front and on the labor front. And if we don't do that, well, we, you know, new technologies have a horizontal power. What we don't really have to achieve progressive quality is effective networked organizations. I mean, I mean, in as much, even states now, the European Union is an effective or ineffective as over the last two or three years, networked state organization. The fact is the anti-globalization movement has, has been great for analysis and criticism, but has not yet come up with a viable radical strategy to, you know, spread to the rest of society what's in everybody's minds. Because before it was like, the network is the message, the activist is the messenger. Now it should be more like, you know, Network society is here, where is network democracy? Where is the radical democracy that digital media enable? Okay, so I think, I think it's a matter of, of social technology in the sense that the internet in itself, it's more than service, it's an architecture among nodes, among information flows and stuff. In politics, none has, has really substituted the, the party form, the Leninist form, you know what I mean? And that's my take, I, you know, help me out in this, guys, man. We need to, you know, a post-2001 politics has to come into being. It was real.